In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the VPN phone at home. You'll have a phone pre-configured and the box will have shorter phone. And the cable is already connected to the network port. You don't have to change any of those connections and you will receive a power adapter in the box and which says data in and your internet cable goes there to that port and then the other one is you have a power card for the power adapter so the first connect this to your internet cable plug in your internet cable over here trying to do it with one hand bear with me so there's your internet cable and then your power card Once you connect that, then you're waiting for your phone to boot up. It'll take a few minutes for the phone to boot up. Trying to establish the connection. Sometimes it takes a while to get an IP address and register, so you have to be patient. Okay, so once it is connected, it should come up as available. And once it says available, check for the dial tone. Dial tone is there. So press voicemail. Welcome to the MyCal communication system. Please enter your extension number. Now I'm going to extend, enter my extension number. Please hold while I route you to the correct system. Please enter your password followed by pound. You have one unheard message, 10 heard messages, and two saved messages. Main menu.
to listen to your messages. Oh, press I'm one. directly to going send to press a message, seven. Press mailbox options. To record a personal to a time or extension to this telephone, press one. To un your one. extension will be assigned to this telephone. And so my extension is assigned to this telephone. So all the calls will come to this phone. Again, it's once you go to the voicemail, log into your voicemail, your options are seven, three, one to assign the your extension to this phone. That's it. So for for some reason, if it's just sitting at no ethernet or SSL connection cannot be established, that means that your ISP is not allowing the phone to communicate. Uh, they're, they're blocking it. So you need to contact your ISP for that. Thank you.